Morro, I'm Luis Anula, fitness coach of Coops. I'm 25 years old, born in A Coruña, Spain, and I also lived in Lisbon uh, half of my life. I'm the biggest of three brothers, and I'm really happy to start this interview. You came to Finland in 2016. How was your career at fitness coach before that? Well, I developed my job as fitness coach in one club in Madrid, and I also share fitness coaching with head coaching in a club called uh, Pozuelo de Alarcón. And basically, I developed that two roles in that club before I came to Finland. You are from Spain, but how did you end up in Finland? Well, uh, my last season in Madrid, I was coaching the son of Pepe Murcia. Pepe Murcia is ex Atletico de Madrid head coach. And I think he enjoyed the way that I work. And when he got the offer to come to Finland, he just made me a proposal to come with him. And I thought that was a really good chance for me to work with him and also to start developing my career as a professional. You was in Legirus Inter in Finland. Uh, how was your time there and was your job compared to Coop's job any different? Well, I was uh, really happy working there. The atmosphere was uh, really good for a Spanish pe person because uh, we were surrounded by a lot of people from Spain in the coaching staff and also a lot of Spanish players and we end up winning a lot of titles there so it was really good experience for me and basically the role was the same I was in charge of the fitness coaching in the first team and also I developed the head coach uh, role in the P Juniors team there. You came to Coops for 2017 season what was the reason behind the switch? Well I believe that Honsu was the reason. Uh, Honsu was searching for a different mind uh, fitness coach, more near the Spanish methodology. And he heard about me and then we met. We have a really good uh, speak with each other. And after that, he made me the proposal to come here and I didn't see, think twice. What were your first thoughts about Kuopio and have they changed now when you have been here over a year? Well, uh, first of all, I didn't know too many things about Kuopio and I was a little bit scared because uh, here I should I was like alone, not surrounded by any Spanish people. So I thought it's gonna be hard, but finally I start meeting people from the city, also different uh, Spanish people here. And I also felt so um, so well in the Coops environment. So I really, really like to, to be in Kuopio and my thoughts are really good, honestly. In your first season in Coops, we ended up second in the league. What was your overall thoughts about the first season in Coops? Well, uh, like maybe a little bit over my expectations. I never thought that I was going to start uh, my first year in Becos Liga and up ending up second and also getting promoted to Europa League. So I was so lucky. Of course, there is a lot of uh, work behind that, but I'm really satisfied with with that. It was a really good season for us. We did win many games in the last 15 minutes. As a fitness coach, can you tell us why? That's a good question. Uh, I have friends who joke with me telling me that we had been so lucky, but we cannot explain lucky every time that we won in the last 15 minutes. That, that was several times the last season. And I believe because the players have a really strong mind and they are uh, so motivated and confident to fight until the last whistle, and I think that behavior need to be uh, supported by a good fitness shape. So if you miss both, I think you have like somehow the reason why we had been so successful in the last 15 minutes. 
How do you make sure that players are in good shape but still do they don't get injured? Well, of course it's like really a big amount of work behind that but our first target here is to make the player available during the season because that is the most important thing as a team and after that we just need to be sure that they are fit enough so what we basically do is uh, do a really good research about what were the problems uh, last season with the players and try to make a preventive um, protocol or workout as you want to say and be sure that they will uh, be in good condition during all the year and apart from that we try to work smartly not hardly here because the season in Finland is really long so it's about how you will end now how strong you are when you start. Ville Saksman nyt vuosi takana Luis Anulan valmennuksessa kuinka se on muuttanut omaa ajatusmaailmasi fyysisestä valmennuksesta? No jonkun verran että paljon on Luisin myötä käyty läpi henkilökohtaisia sanotaanko ehkä heikkouksia ja niitä lähdetty sitten parantamaan, että, että, että se on kyllä auttanut pelaajana erittäin paljon. Aiemmin olet kärsinyt jonkun verran loukkaantumisesta, mutta viime kausi oli sinulta ehjä. Osaatko sanoa minkä takia ja miksi näin? No nimenomaan nuo henkilökohtaiset äh, heikkoudet on otettu huomioon, että, että heti alussa Luisi ja, ja, ja parin muun kaverin kanssa katsottiin, katsottiin että mit, mitkä kun on, mikä niissä jaloissa on vikana ja, ja, ja alettiin sitten sitä kautta tekemään paljon henkilökohtaista reeniä sekä reeniä ulkopuolella että ennen reeniä, että se auttoi aivan, aivan hirveästi. Viime kausi olisi nyt muutenkin pelaajana vahva. Onko Luissi valmis tehnyt sinusta myös paremman pelaajan? No varmasti, että kyllähän tuota, se fysiikka on yksi iso osa jalkapalloa ja varsinkin itsellä kun alkaa vuosia tulemaan ja, ja, ja pitää pitää huoli itsestä, että et se harjoittelu ulkopuolella itsestään huoltapito ja kehohuolto on isossa osassa ja Luisa on auttanut paljon siinä, että on pysynyt, pysynyt kunnossa ja se on tärkeintä, että, että, että sä pystyt pelaamaan peli toisensa jälkeen hyvällä tasolla. Tell us something about your training methods. Why have you been so successful in your job here? Well, I try to bring like new idea and I think it's pretty different that the idea that the fitness coach has working in, in Finland and the first thing that I uh, bring here is try to relate the fitness coaching with the tactical uh, part of the game because both need to be related and I think uh, people enjoy it, the coaching staff is satisfied with that and we are working so well and that way so I believe that that is the main reason. What were the biggest surprises in your first season in Cups? Well, uh, I think in a bad way was starting start the season in Kuopio Halli is pretty hard for for us and we are struggling sometimes to manage the training loads and ensure that the players are in good conditions and I think a city as Kuopio and a club as Cups deserve a surface where they can be where they can develop their job better and in a good way like the atmosphere that is here to work the atmosphere that we have in the changing room is amazing uh, we are somehow like a family we come from different countries but the atmosphere inside the changing room is really really good i'm really happy about that so you Honsu and mike are in charge of our training sessions what is your normal role in our training session? Well, I'm in charge of analyze the readiness of the players before the trainings and also uh, analyze the training loads that we had before after the trainings. And during the training, I of course uh, in charge of the warm ups, but then I try to uh, provide the structure of the training to respect the progressions during the season and also during the week and basically I'm also ready as much as Honsu needs me and sometimes I uh, try to relate some exercise physically with the tactics that we want for that week or our way of play so that is my main task in the training sessions. 
Has your role changed it from the first season? Yeah, this season I start developing job with the junior area and basically what I'm doing is share my way of work with the coaches and try to create a guideline where the juniors can be developed under this new uh, method and also I taking care personally of the most talented players that Coop has right now um, bring uh, bring them the tools to be developed during this year. You mentioned it before that the training facilities are not great in winter time. How you manage to cope with that? Well, uh, there is a uh, too much work behind that and a lot of speech with the doctor and with the physiotherapist Janne Pesson and, and Jari Pistonen. Uh, and what we try to do is reduce as much as we can the number of impacts and so uh, reduce the situations because that will give us a higher training load and try to talk as much as we can with the players. Hopefully we have a really experienced squad in that way and they can provide us good feedback. So we are controlling every day uh, the state of the players and also the trainings like millimeter to millimeter to don't get anyone injured. Has anything changed in it in training comparing the first season and now the coming season? Well, I think this season is uh, pretty easy to work because everybody know each other. At the beginning of the last year, we were quite new coaching staff that never worked before together and everyone's, everyone was trying to search his own duties and his own stuff, but Honsu made a really good job on that and right now we are starting this season with the things really really clear and a good, a good training structure and a really good um, teamwork inside the, the coaching staff. What are your expectations from the coming season? Well, uh, improve because I think we can improve from what we did last season and now we know in which uh, side of the games we fail and we can improve those one and also trying to be as good as we were in those one that we are. So I expect a lot about this season. As a fitness coach, what are your goals? Well, I'm pretty, pretty young right now. And I think I'm so lucky to be where I am. But of course, I always try to learn and know what other people is doing and my target is to get as high as I can in professional football and also feel comfortable doing my job because here in Coops I have an atmosphere that I feel so comfortable and this is so easy to develop a job as a fitness coach. Outside of football, how do you spend your time here in Kuopio? I the small amount of time that we have free, I try to spend with my girlfriend, with the friends that I made here in Kuopio and doing, of course, sport. I'm a big, big fan of winter sports and I really like to develop those ones, although I'm really bad doing it, but I try my, I do my best. And last, greetings for the fans and people in Kuopio. Well, I want to say a big half big hug for everyone who support Coops and I hope this season we can meet again in the stadium because uh, it's really really beautiful when we come here to play in Sabon Sano Arena and the stands are full of people so I hope the people enjoy even much more than the last season this 2018 season. Kitos Palio.